Hello Diamonds and welcome back to the Echo 10 playlist. I've been doing quite a bit of work since the last episode and yeah I did have a lot of delays on getting this video recorded because my family is here in Japan and therefore I'm literally just not at home, always somewhere else showing around. So yeah now I have had a little bit time to kind of catch up with everything and to work here but yeah it's still big mess so nothing too special but hopefully we can take a look on some other items we didn't really notice in the previous episode yet and be more prepared for the next season of the Hornet so I might leave this game uh, available and just go through whenever I have time even besides the Hornet so so yeah I might go for three four episodes in total but yeah so quick updates. First, I have my new uh, combustion generator here, so I can make electrical power, which will be required. I have extended some buildings. I mean, I first was thinking to add government there, but end up putting the government here because it needs unclaimed land. And here was unclaimed, there was claimed. I had some issues where the old claim system just crashed every time I tried to edit it. So, so yeah, that's why it was kind of problematic. I'm not sure if this one I finished last time. Maybe I did, maybe didn't. So long time ago. But anyway, yeah, I have finished everything here. I have my concrete factory running. I have made some artwork which actually i want to showcase as well as it's kind of unique and ooh, there's great artwork stuff as well but same time it is made by me so i cannot <laughs> so it's something that can be done in the future so like every artist will have their own like uh, system and so on so yeah, it's just one of the images I took with the camera stuff. And yeah, I have reputation here because, well, I made some uh, uh, dummy players just so we can kind of make the town. Because otherwise I was kind of having trouble with claims. Oh, I have some stuff here. Uh, before the update, I had some trouble also with the... A wood pulp, it didn't disappear. Now it seems to work again. Added a little bit of asphalt here. My glass factory is there. Empty room. So yeah. Also water pipe goes uh, all the way through because well uh, laboratory requires water to function, right? So so I made the water come all the way to here. Where is my laboratory? And it's nicely running. It should actually Finish in three minutes my oil drilling skill book so I can deal with that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to have much easier upgrade path so people will uh, more likely try to find uh, more like the research papers like agriculture, the modern one, and here even like metallurgy and culinary, engineering. Dendrology. So those are a bit more complicated. Of course, the basic researches, those those are kind of easy to get. Those can be done on regular research table, but those will be more complicated. And to get the modern upgrades, which I can now make just as I have steel and rivets out, it's going to be kind of fun as well. So yeah, a lot of new things. And yeah, the original stuff is still kind of hidden on this menu so nothing too special i guess yeah i also added the store element uh now there are a few new things that i noticed when i was just playing around with everything and one is that missing settlement which is kind of unique thing so uh so you have to kind of set your own settlement before anything can happen and yeah I set it up before the diamond village was even made so giving you ability to see as well what happens so if you set this ooh, automatically it puts the text on it and sets up the amounts and everything okay so let's limit to 10 
probably looks nice. Okay, and now let's go to storage. Let's see it can put here. I think I have few in my bag. And now it should be no more wanted. Yes, it works. Lovely. Anything else? I also made the researchers here so I can monitor how many of each I have, which is kind of good. There's nothing new about those. It's just reserves and stuff. Camera films, same thing. Art supplies, nothing too special. Actually, I haven't tried the food yet. So let's see some foods that we have in our pockets. I mean, we can take this and that's it. Maybe flaxseed oil as well. So those things. Ooh, and it now shows properly the freshness level that is uh, going to be used, which is good. So if it's, let's say, here, let's do it on this one and we can set everything as pickup. So we can set it to like 10 to 30. And it automatically shows exactly that. So it makes everyone's life a lot easier. We know exactly how long things will last and do we get any more information unfortunately not yeah i wish we could see the information how long it would uh, last when it's that fresh but it's already really good so yeah few new things that we can discover and yeah here's nothing too special so let's go and check out the new art forms that we can deal with so I have worked a little bit on that, so let's see where my camera is. I did about the camera. Ah, it's probably down there. Yeah, it's right here. So this camera, of course, we have kind of limited uh, way of looking around. So, wow, it zoomed in a lot. So we cannot move around. We can literally just, uh, just like set the zoom level, which is a little bit strange, but I mean, it's kind of okay. So we took one photo. So this job is done. Now, as you can see, we have this image right here. It is automatically approved in my case. Reputation is nothing because why would it have any reputation? So yeah. And for this one, this one we can kind of move around. It shows where is like our limit. So if we want to make, let's say, image of those things there, we have done it. And now when we go back here, then it automatically starts painting, which is also quite unique because I do like the way how it uses the line art as the first layer. It already is kind of unique image itself. And then it just puts like kind of filtered image on top. And it does look quite unique. So I do like it. And yeah, it does say that uh, it has put in my inventory, but it also showcases on the easel the last one. So yeah, it's not really that bad. So those are the new things that we can play around with. So hopefully we can also have better cameras and stuff like that as well. But yeah, nothing I've really been dealing with just yet. And yeah, the pipe goes all the way to here. And yeah, I have double, double bumps because otherwise I didn't have enough water anymore. And yeah, this part here is still kind of wonky. It thinks it's considered as pipe when it shouldn't be. It should have like different status. Maybe in the future devs have time to fix it, but well, we'll see about that. It's it's not really game breaking stuff. And this one is stopped. Okay. It's interesting because it says that to save resources, but how can we save wind? <laughs> Makes no sense. But okay. Ooh. And yeah. For some reason uh, <clears throat> my table wanted to put all the asphalt concrete and uh, steel bars into this really tiny canoe. So 
So yeah, I'm kind of surprised it hasn't sunk yet. Maybe it will do in the future with some updates. Ah, I also built this. So this this all manual. So let's see. Uh, let's put the ramps down. Okay. So now it can be used for delivering vehicles and stuff like that. These vehicles, we have a tractor here. Right after I played with it, the first time, uh, for some reason, it didn't work at all. And then there was update and it started to work. So let's see if it still works. So if I, if I turn it on, of course it doesn't turn on. This bug is still here that you sometimes have to remove the module and put it back in before it starts to use the module. It's kind of sad. Yeah, it works. You can see. Anyway. Can we turn the lights off now? Ooh, we can turn the lights off so we can signal people. Is that? And... Ooh. Of course, it does have uh, connections to everything else. So. so I'm quite sure Presix will not be happy with the updates. Okay, because yeah, he mentioned that he's not really a fan of <laughs> honking or anything. So <laughs> it's going to be fun gameplay because yeah. Everyone in the traffic will start using those. And yeah, at the moment, I don't have any other vehicles yet because I don't really want to uh, spawn in anything. So everything needs to be done properly. And I think the truck can be done up here, right? Let's see, truck. Yeah, steam truck is right here. So I just need to somehow get more leather hides to make it. But otherwise, I can make it. So I will set it up to do this. Let's see, leather hides. What do I need for leather hides? Uh, of course, bison. And yeah. Let's eat something. This is one thing that I'm still kind of cheating in because, well, it is pain in the butt and I'm not really good at it. So let's see if we can get some bisons quickly. Because we need some. So actually, I think I will try to hunt them by myself. And I will get back to when this mission is done. So I got two of them. I hope it's enough. So let's quickly go and check it out. I will put them on the butchery table. We can see if, if there is any difference visually. Ooh, it's a lot of jumping around. So let's come to the table. I definitely need some lights in this place. It's so dark. I'll put them there. Uh, and because I require less of everything, then I can do eight, which is fantastic. So let them run. So it takes 30 seconds each. It's not too bad. And yeah, so within a minute, we should get this running. So in the meantime, we can try to find... Uh, Book for oil trailing. Uh, butcher one, butcher one. Where could the oil trailing book be? One of those. This indus industry. I think I learned right. Or not yet. Damn. Actually, I can probably see if I. Uh, ah, yeah. Industry have learned. Hmm. Getting difficult. So let's do it this way. So oil drilling I have not learned yet. Yeah, as you can see. So we got the skill scroll. Now let's learn the oil drilling. And yeah, those stars go very, very far again. Uh, where is oil drilling? Right here. Learn. Specialize. Okay, done. Because this way I can finally make few 
uh, canisters so I can start the trailing work. So let's make some barrels. I mean, we can take in from anywhere and put out the somewhere as well. Ooh, steam truck is done. Yoohoo! We can then use it. We can put them there as well if needed. So, how many barrels should I make? Seven seconds each. I mean, I'll probably start with 20. And when it's running that quickly, we can set up the steam truck. Right. Let's see. Ooh, it fits perfectly <laughs> inside here. And yeah, we need some fuel for this as well. So I will take some from there. And yeah, from now on, we don't use pure coal. We need to crush it before we can use it. So as you can see, it's crushed coal. It's a little bit different. Burnable f fuel. Yeah. Charcoal is also available, but yeah. No regular coal, so we need to do a lot of work on it. I kind of like this change because like the big chunks make no real sense. But yeah, it's good. Ooh. This has lights as well. We can turn them off, right? Does not work. Horn doesn't work either. And now we are kind of stuck inside because, well, I have stockpile here. Yoohoo! Okay, then we have to do <laughs> unstuck. Fantastic. That's fantastic. And now we are still stuck, so. I probably should have not done that, but well, I'm not the smartest person either, so <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I think I was doing something here. Uh, 15, 16 ready. That's fine. Uh, we might need a small stockpile with us. Can we make a stockpile quickly? This one takes seven seconds, please. Because then we can very easily carry everything with us. I already finished, right? I, I was a bit late. Okay, here it is. So let's try to run to the oil corner. If I can go there without getting stuck every five seconds. So I'm kind of interested to see uh, how that has changed, if there's any change at all. Maybe there's no change. It would make life easier if there's no change. So it should be about here somewhere. Because yeah, I have this, this one currently visible, where the oil is a bit better. I didn't go for the maximum uh, oil level, just for something that I could use. Okay, let's put those there. And now we can run. Okay, so on this point it takes 1 minute 26 seconds. And we... Ooh, it actually has really long range as well. That's nice. Anyway, it uses one barrel each, so we can only do 16. So I will let it run a bit. So... I will get right back once uh, we have enough and I also need to set up quickly the refinery. So, so yeah, I will be back in a sec. So I have set it up right here next to the shipyard. So hopefully we can do something. I'm also uh, using uh, the way to get fr directly from uh, from the place where we make the petroleum, which makes it much easier. So just direct use. So let's see. Uh, 
I definitely need some epoxy and plastics, so I will do one each just to get started. So can we do the work? Yes. It's now working. Good. And when it's working, I mean, I can probably just go and showcase how we can utilize those uh, images that we have made. I need to get rid of the truck as well. Uh, so let's try to get somewhere indoors. I will go to the government office, which is <laughs> very unique. So this is where the Diamond Village Foundation lies. Anyway, I want to use some images. Can we use? The one thing I really like about uh, those objects now is, although they are in this square, they actually do try to fit the wall, but it only applies to the uh, frames. At the moment, not for the signs, even to the hanging ones. I hope this functionality will be added to those as well. But yeah, it's kind of unique. So let me put this there. Ooh, much nicer. And then I will put this one here. But those are very, very simple. You can also check the enlarge to fill. Like otherwise it might look slightly different. You can see because it's, uh, it's a landscape in the portrait frame, then it looks different. And if we use the zoom, then it just zooms in a bit more. So yeah, kind of unique. I do like this type of frames and stuff. So, so yeah, I really hope those signs will get the same treatment because at the moment they do not go any closer as far as I know. So let's see if I put it up. I mean, I think I put this one <laughs> wrong way anyway. So let's see, but this way, yeah, it's still, we can go behind it and it's floating around. So, so yeah, it's not added to those objects yet. So I really hope they will do. I did try to see if it depends on the wall type, but of course not. So yeah, we have to see how it goes. Maybe in the future we have that addition added, which would be perfect. But yeah, I can see that the game is uh, getting better and better every time. A day so hopefully we have something better soon and yeah anyway uh, the next video I will probably release is about the uh, Hornet like how we get along with the new start and I will try to do two more videos on this one to see some of the end game stuff and maybe even investigate how it looks like when we well, crash some meteors here and see what comes out of it. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.